talk, Ooh. Early. Welcome back to Undisputed. Ooh. How y'all doing? Wow. Good. Very good. Lots to talk about, but first, tell us what you're doing with DraftKings. Um, right now, I'm just presenting my awards. I won Mr. Consistency, MVP, um, Most Improved, and um, Best Single Game Performance. And then they also have a new product for Super Bowl, which is called Showdown. It's the first time ever they're doing it, um, where you can pick six players from each team. Four on offense, two on defense, and unlike, you know, the whole season, you watch every game, you just watch this one game. So it'll be a cool thing to do for the Super Bowl. Mm. Did you win that award for the uh, outstanding performance against the Cowboys? <laughs> nah, not the Cowboys. Oh. <laughs> but you got a good award against them. By the way, <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. Me. Because it I wanted me. to tell this man I did not appreciate the 53-yard catch and run that you stuck down our throats in the second half at Jerry World that turned the tide in that game that we led at halftime 24 to 13. And all of a sudden it was 26 to 24 because of him. You got to blame Kareem Hunt for that. Man. Ah, I seen that play oh, and I was like, did you? I need oh, that. You coach. got that? <laughs> but of course, there was no Sean Lee at linebacker, so you, you just abused who was out there. I don't even know who was out there. You know, yeah, it's pretty easy, right? <laughs> Yes, just sir. opened up like the Red Sea, and you just... He said it would have made a difference if Sean Lee, <laughs> Michelle Lee, Spike Lee... <laughs> Don't matter, huh? Yeah, it wouldn't matter. <laughs> so, about a year ago, you sat right in the same seat. Things weren't going that great for you. Kind of been hit and miss, and then all of a sudden, things changed. You obviously had one big change coaches. Mm -hmm. But what changed for you from that point to this point? Um, I mean, obviously, you know, we added some new pieces to the offense, but, you know, just having the year that we had last year, we didn't want to have that again. So just locked in last off season, um, you know, just worked super hard. Um, change things, change your diet, regimen, any tra work, training program, not diet, but just, um, training as far as training. I just tried everything. You know, I did the speed, I did the agility, I did the heels, I did the sand. Um, I did Pilates, I did yoga. I was just, just mm. trying all different types of stuff, but mm. just making sure I was, you know, just trying work? to work. Well. Um, yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about the differences? You had Jeff Fisher for two years, Sean McVay comes in, you win your division, you make the playoffs. What's, what's the difference between these two coaches? Um, you know, Coach McVay, he's just such an offensive-minded coach. He's just... Um, He's a smart guy, you know, he just he just knows offenses, he knows defenses, and just, you know, how he changed the whole offense around. You know, obviously last year we were, you know, last in the offense, and this year we were number one. So for a coach to come in and do that, and, you know, we knew we still had it in us, but, you know, if you don't do it, you don't know. So for him to come in and, and, and just put all those tools and weapons together, it was crazy. So philosophically it was very different under this coach versus your previous coach? Um... I mean, you could say that. It was just, you know, just... Well, you said mm -hmm. the old offense was high schoolish. That's what you said. I don't know who I said it, we but were Todd... Play, we were playing like one. We okay. were playing like one. And we, and we were. We, we, we wasn't playing good. And, um, you know, it was just a rough game after that game. <laughs> I said some words, but um, nah, man. It came a long way for sure um, from last year to this year. And we're just happy to get better this year. You said after the last game of the season, would you have wanted to win that rushing title? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> yeah, me, and, me and Hunt, we had a conversation. We was talking about it. I'm like, man, congrats. But, you know, we all we all wanted it. Most definitely for sure because, I mean, that's what you dream of. That's what you, you don't, you know, you work you work hard every day in the off season to accomplish goals like that. But um, it's all good. It's all good. You get them this, this year, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's mm -hmm. all good. So you exploded in your last five games in your combined yards from scrimmage. Can you make a case that you should win the MVP? Um, it's not really a case. It's just, you know, it is what it is. You go out there and you, and you put the numbers up or or you don't. So, you know, and just kind of let the writers or, or the fans vote on that and, you know, just let, let the rest handle itself. You believe you deserve it? Um, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Um, I felt like, you know, I worked hard this season. My teammates helped me get it. Um, and obviously we made, we made big improvements. I don't know if, you know, what factors in the MVP, but I felt like, you know, um, me and my teammates, we, we worked hard to, to push me to get there, and we accomplished a lot. 
you realize you're now in the same breath with that quarterback up yeah. in Foxborough now. Yeah, I know. I and know. It's going to come down <laughs> to you too. Yeah. And it's you versus Tom Brady, which is pretty cool, right? And he's always winning, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. There's still some resentment of him. I, I don't know. I think a lot of voters will say, ah, he's had enough. He's had a yeah. great enough run, right? And get, you were like, Fantasy football heaven. You won a lot of leagues for a lot of fantasy players, right? Yes, yeah, so I got got some more fans out yeah. there. I don't know if they, do they have MVP votes? I'm not sure. If they do, I think you're good. Yeah, if they right. yeah they do, I'm, I definitely should be. Good. I think uh, I think Pepsi do a, a fan vote for MVP. Mm. But okay. what what's with you is jumping. Why are you always – well, you were hurdling in high school? <laughs> yeah, I did the hurdles in high okay, school. Okay, because you be hurdling, you be hurdling school. everybody. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I do it, man. It's just <laughs> – like, even after the play, I'd, be, I'd come over to the sideline and be like, man, why did I just do that? I just – it's just the <laughs> first thing that comes. Well, is it – does it benefit or not? Or is it too dangerous? Is it – I mean, one day I'm – you know, it's probably going to end bad. But, you know, <laughs> until then, I'm going to keep jumping. But – um Cause I mean, you see the guy going low and then yeah, I mean for the most part it's more DBs. You know most DBs are not gonna hit a running back high, especially if they're going you know 100 miles per hour right. fast at them. So mm-hmm. it's just kind of a reaction, and you know for the most part it's been working. Mm. So you saw the Philadelphia Eagles up close and personal. It's your place. What shot do you give them against Brady and Belichick? Um, I get those guys a, a great shot. You know, I have a great defense. Um, the DBs are playing incredible, and they have Fletcher Cox. You know, he's um, wrecking havoc. And then, like, you, you got Chris Long, you know, guys just coming in there and just making plays at the right time. And, um, you know, their offense is, is incredible. They got two great running backs. Um, they got Nick Foles. He's playing playing good. He's always been, been able to play good as someone who's come in, mm-hmm. you know, when some of us get hurt. So, um, I, I think they can. I th- definitely think they can do it. I definitely think they can do it. Is that the toughest defense you faced? Um, no, nah, Minnesota. Minnesota. You had yeah. a hard time out oh, there. Oh, man, yeah. And- Real hard time. <laughs> <laughs> Real hard time. But, but Nick Foles did not have a hard time against no. him in, at his place. Yeah. Right? No, he didn't. So, I think I think they can do it, man. I think, yeah. the, Eagles, I think the Eagles can do it. You sit, As you sit back and you went to the Pro Bowl last week, but the Pro Bowl is nice but that's not the game you really want to play. Yeah. You want to be playing on this yeah. Sunday. What do you and the Rams need to do to make sure in 2019 your guys in Atlanta getting ready for the Super Bowl? Um, just lock in, you know, lock in. Obviously, you know, to be able – you got to have a little luck on your side with injuries and all that, but just lock in and next playoffs, we know what they expect. We know the, the atmosphere, but we know the expectation that we want and we don't want to be able to lose again in the first round next year or whatever that case is, so – just come in with that hungry mindset and just just have that one goal, you know, not to to be playing in February. Mm. So, as Shannon points out, you did play in the Pro Bowl, and as I recall, I think you got the first carry of the game, right? Wouldn't, wouldn't I think it called so. you? I think it was. So, what can we do to improve this game? Did they try to tackle you? It was a good game. Started? You didn't think it was I, a good I, game? I watched the whole thing. I we let them come back good. and all, man. It was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> did, did, did anybody hit you half hard? Did, did they... How were they tackling you? Were they? No, nah, they were trying to strip the ball off for sure. Just trying to strip but the ball. But once that, that fourth quarter, it looked quarter, like there was more wrestling yeah. than tackling. Once like the fourth quarter like, came and that money was on the line, it was that's, that's they was normal. out there hitting Deion Jones, Quan, everybody. It was out there. Was that's out there normal. That happens. Uh-huh. The yeah. fourth quarter rolls around and then you're not supposed to blitz. You're not supposed to stunt. You're not mm-hmm. supposed to do a lot of things. But that money. And we got Vaughn cheating. You know, just, <laughs> just, just, just getting off the ball. It's all yeah. good though. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.